with my medium heavy heavy grind elite and uh, Salter 6500 with J braid and then my lighter outfit I've got the Salter 5000 on a Poseidon 5 to 7 ounce rod that uh, we're testing it feels like this west is dropping but we had horrible weather up to now so we're fishing a 24 hour session we started 7 this morning we're fishing till 7 tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. Uh, I have to take a break between 4 and 7 to this afternoon. Then I can fish the Lands League as well and my points can count for both. So that's what I'll do. Now that's the trace. And on that we just put a 5 ounce sinker little ball sinker in the rocks here. Could have brought some four ounces because you don't have to throw a here. In certain areas. Now Ray Thompson and them have gone north. They've gone up to uh, bats. First bat, second bat. And I opted to come down here to just have uh, two areas covered. I'll make a double loop here for the sinker it knocks on the on the brick quite a bit but it's better to put a piece of rope or your mustard clips or the kingfisher clips okay then we bite up some red prawns from uh, adcan just take the shell off and i'm combining that with some crayfish meat from adcan my bottom bait i'm gonna fish chocker and red eye i'm gonna start with a little red eye head Nice bait for both rock art and speckle snappers. With this particular bait with a, a whole head, I'm just going to stick it on and I hope we can come put new baits just now and tie them. And the top one, the prawn and uh, prawn and uh, grey, I'm going to tie onto myself. Bring it all together. Just a nice little mushy bait. Most of the tying happens up top of the shank. Keeps it nice and mushy. At the bottom I've just got that uh, red eye head to start with. And there's no one fishing with me so that's quick. If the pickers take me, then we'll start fishing chocker and, and tougher boats. Fishing these reef areas. 
areas from Mission Rocks north and south don't cast far. You're casting either just on the ledges when, when it's really low. You can just go over the ledge or you're fishing 10, 15, 20, 30 meters. Look where your reef, where the reef is and fish quite heavy, 0.85 millimeter um, so that they don't cut you off so easily. Now, there are smaller fish that's going to hit your bait, so that's why we tend to use a lot of chocker here, so your bait stays on longer. Those smaller fish create the frenzy and get the smell into the water. A bigger fish comes, chase them out of the way and hit your bait. Uh, we also tend to fish circle hooks here, not to get stuck so often, but some of these areas are very foul, so uh, you land 40% of your fish. Um, you'll lose a lot. Then another just tip with a, if you get a nice pull, there's a fish swimming here by our feet, a little, uh, probably three spot pompanos or stone breed. But in any case, uh, when, when a rock takes you here, typical of a rock he'll, he'll find the quickest hole he can get and stick his head in and open his gills. So what you do there is you just give him slack so you can feel it. If you see your line moving again, you pull as hard and fast as you can. Because they'll stick themselves in there, you think you're stuck, and you are stuck but give him snack to swim out, then you can still land him. I'm just gonna check my bait. I didn't tie that uh, head down, so it took it all. Yeah. solid chocker in the bottom, mushy chocker on the outside, then I put the red eye over that, so if the smaller fish clubs the red eye and takes it off, still got the chocker on the bottom, if they take the soft chocker off, all that smells in the water already, so all you need is uh, another fish to come past and still swallow the, the bit of chocker left on your hook, which is pieces all over in the water, so a good chance of that. This is where the real smell and blood sits in this red eye belly. And I'm tying it inside out because the water is not completely deep. It's actually quite clean, so you want that bit of flash in the water as well. And it seeps the blood out a bit slower. <laughs>
get him in the pool. That's my biggest lemon. Very nice, Peter. That's why we're here. Okay, I'm gonna be quick with you. I'll be quick, I promise. Forty-seven. Happy days. What a beaut. Getting back. This is a totally different type of fishing, quite exciting in its own way. And I haven't even started throwing off, there's a bit of reef. This whole section, this looks the best, still sand in the back quite a bit. But uh, everywhere I walked here, this little spot looked the best. There's still sand as you can see in the back. Cameraman will get there just now. And uh, But here it's a, a bit of reef washed out in front. And the ledges here have got nice crevices and caves. That's where these fish stay and feed. They hide to ambush whatever comes past. Might be a small crab or a crayfish or whatever they, they can get their lips around. And I'm putting prawn up top. Not a lot, just to keep the pickers busy. While a bigger fish can grab that bottom bait. And it's working so far for me. I haven't been stuck. Let's try it again. grateful for that otherwise it messes up my trays all right guys that's quite a good start to the comp and uh, still early morning fish till tomorrow morning but while the tide is uh, low I'm trying to, to obviously get the points on the board because because of that ugly sandbank in the back I think the push tide uh, we're gonna battle to get hopefully it's less sand then and uh, Maybe that we can get some stumpies and pompanos, that's what I'll fish for. But the tide's going to push you off these rocks. So I've only got so much time to make it count. So join us next time and uh, I'll put you in the picture of uh, how to do this, a bit more about it and see what other species I can get. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and push that little bell button if you want to be notified every time we load a video. And we thank you guys for your support and feel welcome to make comments of what you would like to see.